Hey, what's up everyone? Hewitt Graphs. Sean Hewitt representing Zero TTMs today. But I did get a few things in. A couple of uh, eBay purchases. I'm going to show those real quick. And then I got some of my custom photos in that I'm going to be sending out. I'm going to show a few of those. So to start out, I got this for like like three bucks with the shipping. Maybe like three fifty. The Phil Sims rookie. So I mean, not like great shape, but decent shape. I mean for three fifty I'll take it. Like I've said before, I'd rather especially with an older card, I would rather pay a lot less to have it. Just to have it. Because most of those I don't plan on grading. It's hard to find really good centered ones. But, uh, <clears throat> nice pick up there. I actually have a lot of cards coming in soon. Oh my god. I think four more of this guy that I'm about to show, but I, he came in today. <clears throat> it's an Eric Ebron Bowman Chrome Refractor Auto. So, nice little one right there. Trying to see how the light will hit it best. So some of his signature, I don't, pretty much any of his signature cards would have to be on card because his autograph looks kind of crappy on the sticker. So, happy to get that. I actually got it fairly cheap, like seven, I think seven bucks, something like that. Um, I actually picked up one that I don't know, has a patch card, a couple of autos, and something else. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting that in. And then like I spent spent quite a bit of money. Um, I got approved for $250 PayPal credit. My wife did it and I wish she wouldn't have because I just I don't know how to control myself at that point, but uh, yeah, I have a few, a couple Staffords still to come in that are <laughs> wicked and I can't wait to get, and a uh, few, few more outside of that, <clears throat> so I'm going to get on to my customs, this is actually an older custom, I just wrote to him recently, I forgot to throw it in, if anybody would want it, it's John Carroll Lynch, I don't know if anybody watched American Horror Story Freak Show, but really wish I wouldn't have forgotten that one. Really sweet, sweet photo I made. Um, yeah, so anybody interested in anything like that, let me know. And then for what I got in today, made some for OJ Tagway. He's like for the Rams and the Redskins. A couple customs I made. But he seems to be a pretty good signer recently. I know that since like, I don't know, it was like 2011 or 2012, I kept wanting the Lions to pick him up when we needed safeties. But it's pretty wicked Hewitt Graphs. A lot of my Hewitt Graphs, <clears throat> I'll put like, kind of like add my own little one for one right there but like I said cool photo nice place to sign so I think I made three or four for him I made four so I'm going to show those real quick that's another one Hewitt Grass so, I might have to adjust this. Hold on real quick. Let you see it. So, pretty cool looking. We got the, the uh, Polaroid, old Polaroid look there. 
And then once again, I mean, right here, leaves a nice place to sign. I like to fade out their name a lot. Name or like a logo. And here's another one. So, I'm trying to get this without glare. There we go. So, really, really cool. It turned out pretty much exactly how I wanted it. And then for the last one, I, <clears throat> I actually put his full name, which... I don't know if it's Oshimoa. Don't want to slaughter it though. I like, I like that one a lot. I kind of did like a textured, like canvas look. Did you see it? So I can't wait to send these ones out to him. And then I made a couple others. I got two of these, so if somebody wants this, let me know. But it's a uh, Brandon Nemo. It's from his 2014 Platinum, but definitely customized it. Like I said, with a nice place to sign. I didn't put heliographs on it or anything either. It would be a good one to send out for spring training. And then, uh,. Another new thing I started for all for my IPs started this one called Hewitt Graff's Legendary Moments. So like my legendary moments. That's uh me and my kids with Drew Stanton at his kickball tournament back in 2012. That's actually the Calvin Johnson jersey I had signed. I'm wearing it. Uh, I got to do one for quite a few players. But uh, Drew Stanton's such a hell of a guy, like really nice. Like we got there like hours before it started when he was setting up and he just like hung out with us and talked and real cool. That was like right after he signed with the Colts. I I'm actually a big Drew Stanton fan. I think he uh if it wasn't for injuries and I mean just not getting put in the right situation. You know, you get drafted by a Oh, and 16 team, second round pick, and then you break your leg right away. I mean, it's not really setting you up too nicely. Uh, this is another one I made. It's from the same event. It is kickball tournament. But my wife took just the shittiest picture in the world, honestly. Like, she had me and Matthew Stafford and my kids turn into the sun. Like, we were looking right at the morning sun. Or... Like late morning sun, it was probably about 11. So as you can see right here, like my daughter, and I, I had to do this because the picture didn't turn out that great. Like I uh, did my posterization, coolest way I could do it. Like I, one of my other daughters, my oldest, she's actually in the picture too, right below my wrist. But, I mean, her eyes were literally completely closed. I'm squinting, Stafford's squinting, and my other daughter's, like, rubbing her eyes, trying to look away from the sun. And it's funny, because my wife, like, she's so awesome, and she takes so many pictures of me with people. But for some reason, like, normally she goes click, 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 and then we pick out whatever's the best. That was the only picture I swear she's ever taken where she only took one. I remember I was so mad at her, and I was probably pretty mean about it, and I apologize, honey. Like, I'm, I'm a shitty person when it comes to IP events, especially, you know, somebody like that, <laughs> meeting your hero. So, I'm a shitty husband, I guess, but <laughs> very, very neat. So, another uh, Hewitt Graff's Legendary Moments. Really think this turned out just excellent, especially... You know, for the last three years of this picture haunting me, finally got it looking decent. I actually sent it the for the original to his home address, but I forgot. To, it was like one of the only ones I ever forgot to put the the letter in with it. So like the next day, I mailed him again with the letter or just the letter, 
and I don't I honestly don't anticipate getting it back so I'm gonna try to do this one again but turned out just beautiful he like said bam nice little place to sign he has beautiful signature too so I got those and then I made a bunch of these for uh, spring training The blue, it, it looks a lot lighter on here with the reflection and everything. I was really hoping the blue was going to turn out lighter than it did. But just a new sweet spot photo for me. I think it turned out, other than that, like really nice looking. Like I said, just added more color and detail to it. But still left a beautiful spot to be signed. I can send that out. I'll send that out with any card. So I'm about 75% happy on that. Like I said, the color was a little janked. And then I made some of these for my Hall of Fame scrapbook. To just send out to any Hall of Famers that are currently signing. So I hear Grass Legends of Canton. Really nice. And then I have a couple others. Um, <clears throat> this is something I had gotten back. I He signed uh, a couple of them. He actually signed three things and like two of these. I told him to keep one of them. Um, this is the only one that's smeared at all. It's Kevin Martin, basketball. Played for like Sacramento, Bulls, just a bunch of teams. But he's an all-star, real good. Um, I had to take off a little bit of the bottom because that's where it's smeared. So, it actually doesn't look horrible. I mean, it might be like 2% two per, two of his signature is gone, but anybody that wants that, I'll just send it to you. Let me know. And another one, sign two. Any, if anybody out there is a big... Uh, Luis Gonzalez fan I made a custom sweet spot for him. Got the nice little name and championship inscription. So he signed two of those. I don't need two. So anybody wants it, just let me know. Like I'll I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, but. Preferably you're a huge fan of him or like the Diamondbacks or somebody like that, Florida. Um, I suppose he played for the Tigers too. But So I'm going to cut this video short now because I'm sure it's probably pretty long. Yeah, it's 13 minutes. I suck. I'm not too good at keeping my videos short. So, uh, yeah, just let me know on those. And like I said last time, uh, one one person that I can think of throughout some names like Byron Buxton and Andrew Haney I definitely want to do and I'll definitely do Buxton again but uh yeah give me some names some big time good signers in baseball for me to send out for spring training outside of like Josh Hamilton and those guys because I already got them so all right you all have a, a beautiful weekend so here graphs cutting out yo later